Welcome to your tutorial for setting up bill pay in the Addition Financial Digital Banking Experience. Your bill pay dashboard. First, log into digital banking. Click on Pay My Bills to visit your bill pay dashboard. On the bill pay dashboard, you can see your current payees and most recent transactions. You can also view previous transactions or toggle a calendar view by clicking the calendar icon. By default, the transaction list shows the send dates of those bills. You also have the option of viewing by delivery date. On the right side of the screen, you'll see three tabs, e-bills, payees, and groups. By default, your bill pay dashboard shows the payees list. All of your payees will show up here. You can also add a payee from this tab. By clicking the e-bills tab, you'll see a list of available bills you are able to pay online. By clicking Enroll on any of these bills, you can add them to your list of upcoming e-bills. The e-bills tab will automatically populate with the date of your next payment at the top of the screen. On the Groups tab, you'll have the option of assigning your payees to one or more groups of your choosing. Adding a group of payees might make it easier for you to navigate through the list of payees, hide unused payees, or allow you to more easily manage household budgeting by creating payee groups for certain bills. Adding a payee and making a payment from the bill pay dashboard. Click Add Payee. Enter the payee's information and click Confirm. To send a payment to a payee, select a payee from the list of payees on the right side of the screen. QuickPay will automatically populate that payee's information. All you have to do is make sure the send date and delivery date are good and type in the amount you'd like to pay. Select the frequency of payment and write a memo if you'd like, explaining what this payment was for. Add any alerts you'd like to this payment by clicking in the boxes and adding the number of days prior to the send date. Click Pay when done to send the payment. A green banner will appear at the top to confirm your payment has been created. Pay Bills. On the Pay Bills page, you'll see all of your bills and important information, such as payee, send date, estimated delivery date, and amount. You may also choose to add a payee from this screen. Like the Bill Pay dashboard, on the right side of the screen are more glanceable tabs, including the same e-bills, payees, and group tabs. However, a new Payments tab allows you to see upcoming payments. It's sorted by delivery date by default, but you can also toggle sorting by send date. Additionally, you can change the date range from 30 days to either 60 days or 90 days. Payment Activity The Payment Activity page makes finding and navigating your recent transactions a breeze. You can filter your payments by pay from account, form of payment, including electronic or check, payment type, and status, with more in-depth sorting options to choose from. You may also choose to use the search bar to look for a specific payee or change the date range with options from 30 days to 12 months, or even create a custom range. On the top right corner of the page are options to download or print your list of payments. Send Money From the Send Money page, you're able to send cash to just about anyone of your choosing. Unlike member-to-member -member payments, Send Money does not require the recipient to be an addition financial member. All you need in order to send money to someone is either their email address or mobile number. To send money to someone new, click the Add button in the People section. Add their email or mobile number, then click Save. To send them money, choose them from your list of people by clicking the down arrow on the To section. Then select the account you wish to send money from. Enter the amount. Then create a security question that the recipient will know the answer to. Then choose a send date and frequency. You can add an alert when the payment is delivered as well. It's also helpful to add a message to your payment so you can easily keep track of what it was for. Click send and you're done. You may also choose to add a member card from the send money screen. Using a member card ensures that the funds are received immediately when you use your debit card to fund the transaction. Thank you for watching.